Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori if you're new here and today we are going to show you some crock pot recipes. These are simple dump and go recipes. They are meatless but you can add meat to them and I will show you how to do that as well. As always the recipes will be written out or linked in the description box below and let's get into it. All right, tonight we are going to have mac and cheese, and it is going to be an elote style, which is kind of like a Mexican corn dip. I do have my little one in the background. She's a bit fussy, so I apologize, but that is real mom life. I'm trying to do more live talking instead of voiceovers, but I do have two under two, so if you hear them, I apologize. But let's go over the ingredients of what you are going to need. I kind of just made this up on a whim. And this is an experiment, so I will let you know at the end if it actually works out and tastes good. All right, so you're going to need some sweet corn. You're going to need eight ounces of sharp cheddar cheese shredded. You're going to need some pimentos. I'm going to use half of this four ounce jar. You're going to need some diced bell pepper and onion, eight ounces of sour cream, some cream cheese, and some butter about a half a uh, thing of cream cheese, so I believe that's four ounces, and then a half a stick of butter. And then at the end, we are going to add in some of this ziti. And then to top it off, I'm gonna add a half cup of almonds milk. I'm waiting on that to be delivered, so that is not in this little list right now. But I'm gonna add some black pepper. I'm gonna add some salt. I'm going to add some onion powder and I'm going to add some nutmeg. So you could add some chili powder to this, but I just am not going to deal with the spiciness today. It's just a dump and go, so we're going to put everything into the crock pot and then we are going to cook it on high for two hours. We're going to add the pasta, cook it on low for an hour, and then it will be ready. So three hours total. everyone night number two we are making a zucchini lasagna I'm gonna show you how I slice the zucchini you can do it however you want but we are going to layer it into the crock pot make it a nice little veggie lasagna and we are going to mix some cheeses in there and some different spices you are you want some cheese okay so you are definitely welcome to use regular noodles I'm just gonna use zucchini because we have it you are going to need two jars of sauce two jars of sauce okay bud you're gonna need some bell pepper or broccoli or peas or any type of vegetable of your choice sometimes we use Brussels sprouts some zucchini I'm gonna use three zucchini you're going to need some Parmesan cheese and mozzarella and ricotta. Then you're going to need some salt, pepper, and so I'm using this seasoned salt that I got from Walmart, but you could use Italian seasoning if you want. I just want to try this out.
next recipe is going to be a veggie beef stew. So what you are going to need is this small crock pot. I'm only feeding myself, my husband, and my son. So I'm using the small one and I'm going to cook it on high heat and then switch to low. So you are going to need this brown gravy mix. I'm using vegetarian, but you are welcome to use whatever kind of gravy mix you would like. You will need some diced potatoes. You will need a half of a white onion diced. You will need some mushrooms. If you do not like mushrooms, which I'm not a fan to be honest, um, you could use peas or broccoli or something like that. I just needed a meaty texture. And you're going to need some carrots, I'd say about a cup of carrots. And then we are going to serve ours over these wide egg noodles. You can add these at the end if you would like, or you could just cook them and put them on the side like I did. Alrighty, tonight's easy meal is going to be a veggie version of clam chowder. And the star of the show is going to be these hearts of palm instead of clams. I am just making it the way I normally do. So if you don't like hearts of palms, just use clam or whatever you use in your chowders. You're going to need some celery here. I diced up about four stalks and then I save the butt of the celery and I print little flowers with them. That's just a craft tip if you want to use that. Um, totally just compost if not. You're going to need half a white onion or yellow or whatever you want. You're going to need some carrots. You're going to need half a stick of butter. We like the country crock vegan butter. You're going to need two potatoes diced. We leave the skin on them for nutrients and because I'm lazy. <laughs> and then you're going to need a cup of milk of your choice. We like to use oat milk for chowders, but almond milk works, regular milk, whatever you want to do. And then for spices, we're going to do Old Bay seasoning. So to me, Hearts of Palm has that fishy flavor already. If you wanted to add more of a fishy flavor, you could take some sushi nori and yeah thanks and cut it up but this is what you're going to need you're going to put everything into a pot and let it simmer for around two hours if you are using a crock pot then you're just going to let everything cook on low for eight hours it's super simple but i want this done quickly tonight so i'm just going to get it done now And that is going to do it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed these recipes. Drop a comment down below and let me know which recipe was your favorite. Make sure to tag us whenever you do make these recipes. Please like, share, and subscribe if you have not. Stay adventurous, stay creative. I'll see you next time. Bye. We stay close, but it's the life that we chose.